It's not going to be easy out there, but I think the end result is going to be worth it. I reckon I'm going to be questioning my sanity at least a dozen times over the next 40, 50, 60 hours. The Drakensberg Grand Traverse is a 210 kilometer traverse crossing the, the Drakensberg Mountains from north to south. The current record is 60 hours, so we're going to be starting at 12 o'clock at night and going through that night, going through the whole day and then the, the, the following night and hopefully kind of finishing early evening. Some of the, the key rules of the traverse is that it's got to be entirely self-supported. So we've got to carry everything we need. You can have no outside assistance. We start at Sentinel Car Park and we summit six significant peaks. How you connect these dots are completely up to you. Over the years, we've obviously played around and trying to find the optimal route, but those are pretty much the, the rules. I think the Drakensberg Mountains are incredibly beautiful and, and really spectacular. You're running on average at 2,800 meters above sea level. Yeah, you can be warm, cold, everything, windy, perfect weather all in one day. Other than that, it's very rugged. It's the first time I moved at that pace. For me, it didn't seem like such a big thing until I actually try to run in these mountains. The terrain is just relentless. There's no paths. You're constantly going over on your ankles, and it's completely different running to anything else I've done. You're going up and down the whole time. There's nothing flat on this mountain. The biggest challenge is the mental side. The first 10 valleys are beautiful. The next after that all look the same. So mentally, you don't feel like you're moving. You're kind of forced to, to be with your own thoughts all the time. Be a really good runner, you can run fast, but that doesn't count in the Drakensberg. That mental tiredness took things to a whole new level for me. On day one, Ryan and myself said to each other that with the days being so hot, we're actually going to change our strategy and try to optimize the nights a bit more. I think Reno and myself, we're pretty well suited together, and there's no ways I could have done this traverse without him. It was tough pretty much from the word go. For me, struggle isn't a bad thing. It's a way of self-development. In my heart, I realized that this was what I wanted to do. You're so focused up until the last point that only when I saw the finish, I realized we we're going to do it. Yeah, I was super stoked with how things turned out. Obviously, it was cool to experience or to like kind of live, live a dream. It, it all went well. We, we got the time we hoped for, so we, we're happy. Just a short run in the Drakensberg Mountains. <laughs>